in every seed there is life in every seed there is life in every mango seed there is life it can become another tree why it can even become another great forest but this seed which has life by having life it has its own fulfillment but this seed which has life it can it can become a great forest when when it follows a process what is that the seed not only has received from god life but also it can bring salvation when this seed becomes a tree it brings oxygen to so many people it shakes the clouds and cools down the earth it brings shade to people it becomes food for people it brings even rain to this earth for one small seed to bring for so much life and it brings salvation through the shade it kills the heat that is brought from the sun through becoming fruit it destroys the hunger of this world by becoming a tree full of life it brings forth life to this world so how through a process jesus said in john chapter 12 verse 24 onwards where we find if a seed falls into the ground and dies this seed which has got life it can even remain up it may be survive for 6 6 months or one year maybe another bird will come and take it away or it may become even powdered but if the same seed which has life if it falls into the ground and if it dies it will become a new plant you will see no more seed seed will be broken into pieces but if the seed offers itself generously to the ground to the mud and allowing the mud to cover it the same seed through its death it will bring forth the life each one of us want to live for ourselves one of the greatest problem in the world is man selfishness man first thinks of himself if anybody talks immediately oh you are talking about me self is attacked if anything is that will i get that one for me everything man moves with the self as long as we move with the self we know where reach beyond ourselves and nobody can satisfy ourselves and we die that without life but when we move beyond ourselves to see god and we see the cross where he gives everything of himself till the last moment he gives a thief is saying please remember me yes today you will be with me in paradise he saw his mother and calls his disciple even in that pain john he could not open his eyes because the crown of thorns it has gone into the eyes he could not open he could not reach out with his hands he could not reach out with his feet what is left out is only one thing his voice and he used that voice and said to the disciple take care of mummy she took care of me for 10 months she carried me because she said yes to the lord she suffered so much 
my father joseph died earlier and i am the only son now there is nobody to take care of god please will you take care of her will you take her to your home will she be your own mother nawan yes till the last moment he gave life he saw the people who are killing him that his sin should not affect them so father forgive them for they do not know what they do he forgave everybody yes you are the source of life if you open your eyes and see there will be so many people who are persecuting you so many people who are trying to destroy you but you give life and don't allow the hurts and the wounds of people to destroy you or to take control of you but rather you offer yourself like the seed that offers to the ground and gives life to the ground and the seed itself becomes a life yes the world is dying and you are the one if you go beyond yourself why it has happened to me why people are hurt me why people are talking about me like this why these things are happening to me 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 you will die with that you will never find answer you are not more hurt than the lord jesus you are not wounded more than his own disciples whom he trusted they abused him cursed him but still he forgave them when he rose from death he came to meet them and loved them peter who denied him he loved him he enjoyed his body more than jesus when he came to meet jesus instead of going to meet him he went and sat with the woman to take care of his body his bodily pleasures still jesus never gave him up he is the giver of life he is the giver of salvation he all those who are living in sin all those who are living in death he gave them the life and today you are the one who can give life today we find in the gospel one man because of his sin he became a, a man who was paralyzed jesus knew the reason for his paralysis is his sin four people brought him four people took pain to carry him so when you die to give life to others god will notice that and give life through you when you suffer through your death you can bring life to the world that's what jesus did if you offer yourself as an offering to god go beyond yourself that the world is in need of god the world is in need of salvation that's why the bible says god so loved the world that he gave his only son that we should not perish but have life salvation that's why there is a song in in telugu okkaru dveshinchina neevu preminchali malli dveshinchina malli neevu preminchali if somebody hates you don't allow what the world is doing to you to affect you but what god has done to you should affect the world you are the one who can redeem the world don't tell, i am hurt i am wounded look at jesus on the cross connect your wounds with his wounds and be always happy don't allow your courage your joy your gift of life to be destroyed by the enemy if you want to see problem you will see hundreds of problem if you want to blame people you will have hundreds of people who have hurt you who have wounded you who have destroyed you don't get stuck up with your hurts 
that's why in the book of hebrews chapter 12 verse 15 let not the poison get rotten your roots come out of that poison throw away the poison you have got so many people who have loved you 